Good afternoon, beloved. To be very honest with you, I did not expect to be serving at any capacity in this season as we are praying and fasting these few days, but we have to always be available to our Heavenly Father. And so something happened in prayer today that I did not realize at the moment that it was more prophetic than I realized. And so when I got off of the prayer call today, the Lord continued to impress this and imprint this upon my heart. And God forgive me for not better managing that moment. To be very honest with you, I am very much an introverted heart. And so many times when I'm with people and among people, I can feel somewhat overwhelmed. And in all transparency, though I am really more prophetic than I want to be. And I say it that way because I never wanted to produce prophecy chasers. I always wanted to make disciples, to win the loss, to equip believers for the work of ministry, but I never wanted to create prophecy chasers. And so with that in mind though, I must acknowledge that I cannot ignore the giftings and the graces that God has put upon my life because they are to serve and to glorify the Lord. And so the Lord wants to say to you today as he speaks tenderly to you, I will never forget you. I will never forget a child that is born of my spirit. I will never forget those that I have chosen. I will never forget you. I will never forget a prayer that you've prayed. I will never forget a sacrifice that you've made. I will never forget an offering that you have given. I, have, I will never forget the times that you desired to serve and were prevented from serving. I will never forget your desire. I will never forget a temptation that you endured. Even those temptations that seem to overtake you, God is saying, I will never forget that you endured that temptation. I will never forget the trials that you endured, the traumas that you have suffered. God said, I will never forget. I will never forget your broken dreams. I will never Forget those places in your life that are yet broken, that are yet in desolation. God is saying, I won't forget to heal them. I won't forget to repair them. Where there is sickness, you all that are suffering with a sickness and affliction, God said, I will not forget to bestow mercy upon you. I will never forget each and every time that you opened my word to hear from heaven. I will not forget those times that you've meditated to trust me, to take me at my word. God said, I will never forget you. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. He sees every desire to serve him. He sees every desire to know him and every desire that you have to glorify him and to bring honor to his name. And God said, I will never forget those desires that are in your heart. Many of you have tried to start a ministry or a business that has seemingly not worked out in this season, but God is saying, I will never forget to restore. I will never forget to restore the broken dreams. I will never forget to open prison doors where my children are yet being held captive. God is saying, I will never forget your warfare in the way that you have warred against the powers of darkness. I will never forget you. So God is saying, I remember your name. I know you by name and I will never forget you. So you can be encouraged today, beloved, because God is saying, even in this time of fasting, I will never forget your sacrifice. I will never forget the prayers that you are offering in this time. And I will not forget to answer them. Hallelujah. So we thank God for speaking tenderly to us, beloved, to his people, because he is a loving and compassionate father. So those of you 
who would like to join us for tomorrow's noonday prayer, we invite you to come on and join us. All are welcome. The bombers are in fasting and we are praying. Hallelujah. We are lifting up prayers to God. And so, beloved, we invite you all who would like to come on and join me, invite you to join us at noonday Eastern Standard Time. Meanwhile, remember, God will never forget an offense that you have have forgiven. He will never forget those who have hurt you and you have continued to love them. He will never forget the love poured out. And finally, God is saying, I will not forget to save your loved ones. Amen. So thank you, Lord, for never forgetting us, beloved. So let's go in faith and let's remember God, the God who never forgets you. Amen. God bless you.